Oh, well, hello, welcome back to another vlog. My name is Maggie, if you're new to my channel, this is the first video that you're seeing of mine. What's up, welcome. Um, today I am vlogging my day, probably like the next two days to be honest. I am getting about to get ready. Haven't gotten ready yet, I kind of have a busy day today. I have some meetings that I have to go to and also getting lunch with Emma probably. I need to call her and ask like what time she wants to leave and what she wants to do. But I'm gonna be doing that. Um, thought I would just take you guys along with me these next few days. I am in the mood to just like start vlogging again. I feel like I went through kind of like a vlogging funk because I was going through a lot in like my personal life and just dealing with kind of like a lot of growth and discomfort and things that I just was dealing with off camera and I honestly just like was not in the mood to vlog my days. I It has been really hard for me for the past few months with like everything going on um, and just being in quarantine and everything closing like it really did affect me and I wasn't in like my normal routine and like going to workout classes and doing things that obviously as you guys know like the normal things that we did before all of this um so I just feel like that really affected me a lot not in the sense that I was like sad that I couldn't do those things but it's just more of like I finally had time to be with myself and I feel like I hadn't been like as still as I had been these past few months and I went through like a huge transformation like growth and I just feel so different now it's so crazy maybe I'll do a video about it like what I learned and how I grew during quarantine, but I just did a lot of self-reflection and I've been doing a lot of meditating, journaling, and um, just kind of like coming back to myself and slowing down and being more present. And I know I talk about it all the time, just like being present in life, but I feel like now more than ever, I have truly been so present in like my days, like during the day. Um, and just taking things day by day and really focusing on my routines and um, like what I do every single day because that is the effect that like what you do every single day and your habits um, have such a great effect on your life as a whole so I've been really focusing on like switching up my routines and just doing things that are going to be benefiting me and my goals and not making excuses and all that so I'm gonna go into that a little bit more probably in a different video sorry that this intro was kind of like ranty on that part I just have felt not really in the mood to vlog and show what I do during the day because I was just going through so much and so much change was happening in my life and I just felt like I really needed to kind of recharge and deal with it off camera and I just feel so good and honestly I f have been feeling so light recently and it just makes me feel so good and makes me so happy and yeah so it's a beautiful day in Boston the weather is so nice it's been so nice for so long and I'm just really excited to be going out and like doing errands and going to meetings today and stuff so um yeah that's what's going on around here I'm gonna get ready in a sec but before I get ready, I want to let you guys know that this video is sponsored by Caseify, which my phone case, I always get questions about my phone case and it's always from Caseify. You can personalize your cases. So I just have this one right here that has my initials MM. I need to order, I want to order another case because I want to switch up the color. Um, but I really love their cases because they are military grade protection. So they're very sleek, which you would never even know. I feel like when you think of cases that are gonna protect your phone, like I think of like a big bulky, like manly case, and that's not the case at all. The cases are so sleek and I just love the way that they look on my phone because they're clear and you can customize them and they protect your phone as well. And also when you drop them, they don't, like the case doesn't fall apart. I find that so many cases 
after I drop my phone a few times, like they come apart on the edges. And I've had this case for almost a year and it's in such good condition. So I really like them. I'll even drop it right now and show you guys. I hate that sound, but nothing literally happened to my phone. I drop my phone all the time. See, as you can see, it is perfectly fine. No cracks or anything. Um, I also love giving Caseify cases as gifts. I gave one to Tyler's mom for her birthday last year and she still uses it and she's so obsessed with it. So I like personalized it with her name and there's like glitter in it. So when you like shake it, the glitter moves around. It's really cute. And I have a discount code you guys can use. Go to casefy.com slash Maggie and you get 20% off of your order. I'll leave a, a link down below so you guys can just click that and personalize your phone case. They are great gifts as well. I feel like people, I've given them to so many people and they just love them and I, I don't know, I just love personalizing my own phone case because it makes it so like unique. So you guys can check it out. Also, I've met so many of you guys recently and a lot of you have case to buy cases and you literally tell me, you're like, I used your code for this because I um, saw you talking about it in a video and I love this case, like all my friends have gotten them. So that's really awesome and it just makes me so happy. So you guys can check them out. I'll leave a link, but I'm gonna get ready and start the day um, to get ready to go to lunch and stuff. So I'm gonna get dressed, but I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. I'm in the car with Emma right now. We are on our way to go get lunch. We're gonna get a little something to eat. We have some meetings today. Um, Aaron's just like, basically running around doing some stuff not in the house which feels really nice I like got ready today Em and I are wearing the same outfit we didn't even plan it this happens more often than not we're both wearing these little dresses from Aritzia I have on these um, Adidas sneakers so yeah that is my outfit for today looks so good. I'm gonna get that next time. Got a little cauliflower wrap with veggies, avocado, arugula, a bunch of stuff all in there. <laughs> Some really bomb fries. We're just having lunch outside. We just got out of a meeting with our financial advisors this afternoon. Which mask should I wear? The black one or the blue one? Trying to think of which mask I should wear. The black one sometimes makes me feel like, uh, makes me feel like I'm sweating. Oh my god, why is my camera shaking? Did you see that? No. That was so weird. My camera was literally shaking. Um, I'm gonna wear this mask. Guys, going into my first, this is the first store I've ever been in. Well, since, yeah, first store. Brandy Melville, hey. Hey guys, it's now the next day. I just got done with a workout. I've been up since six o'clock this morning and I feel so good it's been like a struggle for me to wake up early during quarantine or really like ever in my life like i just feel like i've never been really good at waking up to my alarm and i have been trying harder to like get up like the first second it goes off and like make myself sit up and like get out of bed i splash my face with cold water so um it worked this morning and I've been up since six o'clock. I got so much done before my workout and it felt so good. And now it is 8.55. I'm home and ready to start the day. I feel so good. I wrote like a whole list of things that I am going to be doing today. Not showing you the actual list, but this is the little pad of paper I do to just kind of keep myself organized throughout the day and make sure I get everything done that I need to get done. So I'm gonna make some breakfast, um, start the day off. I had something I was gonna tell you guys, and now I forget. I literally forget what I was gonna say. 
and like why I picked up my vlog camera. Well, obviously to vlog, but I had like something specific I wanted to tell you. Now I forget. Um, if I remember, I'll tell you. But anyway, um, this is me. <laughs> Drawing a blank again of the other thing I decided to tell you why like why am I like this right now? Oh my god Breakfast of the day. This has been one of my favorite breakfasts to make recently. I just made some eggs, sauteed some veggies, cut up half of an avocado, and then threw some broccoli microgreens on top. I was literally about to just ask you guys. Okay, so I got this new eyebrow gel, and I was gonna be like, oh, do you think my eyebrows are too dark? The eyebrow's literally darker than that one. Or is it just me being crazy? It's hard with eyebrow gels because like my hair is so dark, but I feel like, I don't know. Does it look weird if my eyebrows are darker than normal? Maybe I'm not just like not used to it. Hmm. Um, but anyway, <laughs> I just took a shower. I feel so good. I put on a little comfy outfit because I am gonna do some work. I have some emails that I need to do this morning just some things that I gotta get done I no oh my god this morning I ordered a bunch of clothes from Princess Polly with Emma's code um but I have to do some emails and then I'm gonna get my video ready to be uploaded tonight i'm doing a makeup routine showing you guys like my everyday natural makeup routine and that's gonna go up so i'm gonna work on that and also brainstorm ideas for new videos because i have like a list going right now so i think i'm gonna film a few of those after like my hair dries and, um when i can get ready and stuff but i need to send this email out this morning so I'm gonna work, do some work on my computer for a little bit. Guys, I'm literally nauseous right now. Oh, I feel so sick. I like, don't know what to do, I have the worst cramps. Oh, I just wanna lay on my bed. But it's such a beautiful day. I feel like I need to like do, film the videos that I wanna film and then maybe just sit outside. Oh, it's so nice out. Hopefully that'll make me feel better, but I really have like the worst cramps and like whenever I get my period I For the first few days. I'm like Oh, I'm literally sick to my stomach and I just feel like I can't move and I just feel like I don't want to do anything And also what's weird about me is that I get like weird cravings a week before I even get my period and then like during the time where I have it I don't want to eat anything. I'm like grossed out by all the stuff that like I love to eat and I don't even have any sort of appetite which is so weird and I don't know why I don't know why that happens also sorry I'm like walking around in circles right now in my apartment it's laundry day I'm doing a ton of laundry right now so I'm currently kicking this pile of clothes across the ground so I can put them in the wash I'm gonna set you guys up right here. Just came back to my apartment to get my camera. I'm laying out with Emma right now. And I oh, gotta put a towel on. And I had to come home because I am making a matcha. 
I haven't had a matcha latte. Actually, should I make a matcha latte or just a regular latte? Because I ordered a whisk and it didn't come in yet. I think I'm gonna make a regular latte. I'm gonna show you guys how I do it because it's so good. Okay, I got my cup. My Nespresso pods. I'm gonna use, I think I'm gonna do vanilla. And this is my favorite oat milk to use because there's only three ingredients. <laughs> it's by the brand Malk. So I'm gonna pour some into here. and I'll link my Nespresso machine that I have um, usually it's on sale at Williams Sonoma I got mine half off and it was one of the best things I've ever bought it saved me so much money when I drink like when I make lattes and stuff and when I drink hot coffee so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make hold on there's like different settings on the top so you can like put how much coffee you want to make so yeah I'm gonna make a cafe latte the milk temperature cold And the milk is done. Now I'm just gonna pour that. Oh, that is perfect. Oh my god. Hi. We just got Uber Eats for lunch. I'm putting some sriracha. This is the best sriracha, the yellow bird. I'm putting it on top of avocado toast. And it has cashew cheese. Um, looks like it has sprouts. Some sesame seeds. Sunflower seeds. What is the pickled? Is that pickled onion or? Oh. Pickled radish. <laughs> and it's on a homemade onion focaccia. Which is bomb. I just got out of the shower. I took a little body shower. And I'm gonna do a haul <laughs> because I had bought new beauty products yesterday and I wanna put them away, but I just thought I would show you guys. I didn't know if I should do like an actual haul for this, like a sit down video or just include it in a vlog. So let me know what you guys think about little things like this like if i ever get like new makeup or oh i forgot to show you what i got yesterday from brady melville maybe i'll show you after this or i can just put it in my summer haul that i'm doing i'll just show you after this so anyway um i got a bunch of new clean beauty products i've been really into like switching out my products and like learning more about 
the harmful ingredients that are in the products that I already use. So I've been watching like so many YouTube videos and I'm obsessed with Hiram. He's my favorite YouTuber and I watch his videos every day and he just always talks about like people's skincare routines and what they use and the ingredients in them and what he likes with them, what he doesn't and all this stuff. And I was like, I wonder honestly what is in a majority of the stuff that I use. So like I went through my shower, my cabin, it's like everything I had and I was looking at the ingredients and I used the app Think Dirty and like even my shampoo and conditioner, it was like all toxic stuff that like causes cancer and they use in cleaning supplies and just all this stuff that honestly freaks me out. And I was like, I don't want to end up having like reproductive issues when I'm older. Like God forbid anything ever happened and they told me that I was like infertile because of just like the chemicals and the toxic ingredients that they put in beauty products. I was like, no, thank you. So making that switch right now. So that's what I did. And I bought a bunch of new stuff. Not like a bunch. I bought a few new products. I bought some beauty counter um, shampoo and conditioner from Goop. Got everything from Goop. I don't know if I said that before. Not sponsored. Um, the shampoo and conditioner. One of my really good family friends is she works for beauty counter and I always see her posting about it. And I really didn't know like too much about that's my life right now, you guys. It's exactly how, like, how my, my afternoon is going. Um, but yeah, so I didn't really know too much about them. And I had just known that they are like a really focused on their products having like really clean ingredients. So I decided to try their shampoo and conditioner. It's really good. It feels so good in the shower. Like when I was washing my hair this morning, just felt so um, hydrating. And it made my hair feel so soft. Like even though it's all gross and sweaty from laying outside, it still is really soft and it smells really good. So I love that. And then I also got the Beauty Counter. You guys saw this this morning, the Brilliant Brow Tinted Brow Gel. I got it in the darkest, well, I got it in dark, the shade dark. Um, just obviously looks like a little brow thing, spoolie. Love that. I don't know if I should have gotten it in like the lighter brown, but they were sold out of it, so I just got that one. And then I got this lip tint by Henne. Henny? I don't know. In the shade Bear. And I have it on my lips right now. It's like a neutral, kind of like looks like your lips, but better. And I really like it for the moments where I feel like I just need a little something on my lips. And then I got this Glo Goop Glow body luminizer this is the goop brand it's a lotion that is just going to make your body look luminous it's for your legs shoulders collarbones anywhere where you want a candlelit glow so i will try this out next time i go on a date you guys can see actually you know what i don't need to try it when i go on a date i'm going to use it right now and show you guys because you guys are special we're going to do a little bit on my hands a lot oh ooh, wow this like wow reminds me of a vacation so this is the hand that has it can you guys tell and this one doesn't I don't know if you can tell but I can in person just makes me look really shiny love that and then they sent me a Microderm Instant Glow Exfoliator for a little sample. Fun. Love that. And last but not least, I got this really bougie little perfume and it's called Holy Water. Holy Water, if it will ever focus. There we go. And it smells, honestly, like it's oh it smells like sophisticated sexy mysterious like you know just like that vibe i don't even know how to describe it it smells really good and i like it a lot Reminds me of like going on a date. You're gonna 
you have like a middle part and your hair is like slicked back in like a pony or like a bun or not even a middle part it's just like slicked back you have like a red lip there's weird construction going on inside but you have like a red lip like a really cute outfit on and you're at like an Italian restaurant like drinking a glass of wine this is the perfume that you have on so it's bomb and Brandy Melville haul coming at you so I got a few things yesterday um I guess just lay it out like this I got these little shorts biker shorts super cute gray and then I got this little top right here, just a little white tee, little rouge detailing, v-neck, cute. Cropped, but not too cropped. And then I got a little tank, which I was wearing this morning. I really like it. It's like just a little knit tank, gray, comf. And then I got this little blue cropped sweater, long sleeve shirt type thing, love that. And lastly, over here, got a new pair of joggers because they're comfy and honestly, not the best quality. I feel like they definitely um, fall apart, not fall apart, but I feel like they shrink and they get pilly if I'm not like super careful the way that I wash them. I feel like you need to wash Brandy Melville sweatpants like hand wash and then like hang them to dry in order for them to last long but they're super cheap so I don't know I just felt like they were comfy they looked comfy in the store and they're always like super soft the first few times you wear them so I got those but um that's that I think I'm gonna go sit on Pinterest that's like what I've been really into lately I've been really into going on Pinterest and I'm gonna watch some YouTube and I'm gonna chill because I don't feel good right now. My stomach really hurts and I just need to like take it easy on myself tonight, I guess. <laughs> because I need to just listen to my body. Like I, I don't know, I'm not feeling my best. So I'm gonna go sit down for a little bit. I just made dinner and I literally forgot to vlog. And <laughs> I uploaded a video, my everyday makeup routine, link down below. Um, I was like distracted trying to upload and I'm also super tired. It's almost eight o'clock. I'm like ready for bed, guys. I'm like a grandma. <sighs> but I put on Brittany Melville outfit. Got a little tan today and I was outside for like probably an hour. I think I'm just gonna chill and I'm gonna watch All American. I've been like trying not to watch it a lot this week because Tyler and I are watching it together. But I don't know, I can't. He's got to catch up. Let's see it in closer. He has to catch up. Because. Oh. Okay, that's like really loud. Um, anyway. Because if I watch like two episodes during the week, he can definitely watch two episodes when he's at home. It's just something that needs to be done. Um, also, look at this huge basket that I got. It doesn't look as big in on camera that it actually is in person yeah it definitely looks smaller on camera but i ordered this basket from cb2 and i got like the small version and it's literally huge in person it, it's really big um but i don't know i think it's kind of cute for my blankets <sighs> so i don't have to keep them <sighs> on my couch all the time because I feel like, I don't know. <laughs> I wanted to like get something to organize and I can't put them in that corner because I have my plant. Can't put them there because I have my lanterns. So I put them in my room. And I wanna show you guys what I did with my old basket. I set up a little basket of towels in the bathroom. All right, so I'm gonna, look, you can literally see me. Hi. I'm gonna fill up my water and I'm gonna watch this show an episode and then I'm gonna probably take a bath actually forcing it I don't need to take a bath right now because I showered like after I sat outside I showered after my workout I don't need to 
take yet again another shower today. So I'm probably just gonna do my skincare routine, go to bed, because I'm honestly exhausted. Um, but I'm gonna end off the vlog here because you guys already know what I'm doing. It's not gonna be exciting. And um, I just want to say, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I have been getting a lot of DMs from you guys saying that you miss my vlogs and getting a lot of comments on my videos saying that you like the sit down videos that I've been doing lately, but you miss my vlogs. And I miss vlogging, I love vlogging. I just feel like, I don't know if you guys like seeing what I do during the day. If it's just like random things, if I pick up my camera and vlog for two days like I did today and just kind of talk and talk about things that are going on in my life and show you guys what I'm doing. Everything is still a little bit weird here in Boston. It's not quite opened up yet. We're in the process. Um, so I'm not really doing much, just really chilling at home. And I don't know if you guys wanna see that. <laughs> if it interests you, I just feel like it might not be exciting, but I know that some people say that they'd rather have me doing that than like doing random things like getting my nails done and whatever. So just let me know. I'm always, um, I always appreciate getting feedback from you guys and hearing what you like to see. So that would be really helpful if you guys like seeing videos like this. I can keep making vlogs like this, but if not, um, leave a comment with like more creative video idea, something sit down that you guys want to see. Um, I just did my makeup routine. I can do like fashion videos. I don't know. Really just down to do anything. So just let me know what you guys want to see. And thank you for watching this video. Love you, and I hope that you have a great night or day whenever you watch this, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.